10 advice from Muhammad Ali for young people who want to be rich and successful. Muhammad Ali was an American professional boxer, activist and philanthropist. He is widely regarded as one of the most significant and celebrated sports figures of the 20th century. From early in his career, Ali was known as an inspiring, controversial and polarizing figure both inside and outside of the ring. As a successful man, Muhammad Ali gave some very good advice about how you can become successful. In this video, we are going to be sharing with you 10 of the most inspiring advice from Ali and we hope some of them really change your life. Number 6 is very important, so make sure you watch this video till the end. If you are new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Number 1. It isn't the mountains ahead to climb that wear you out, it's the pebble in your shoe. I was born by poor parents and suffered ill health for the first one and a half decades of my life. However, when I was 17, I read a book called Maximum Achievement by Brian Tracy and that book changed the way I think about life. From then, I started seeing myself as the only problem there is. Niccolo Machiavelli wrote, The will cannot be great and the difficulty be great. You cannot be tough and your life will be difficult. Listen, we are not being crushed by the size of our problems, we are being crushed by our internal weakness. Robert Schurler said, Tough times never last, but tough people do. Be tough and life will be easy for you. Number 2. It's lack of faith that makes people afraid of meeting challenges. More than a decade ago, when I was starting out in the business world, like most people, I had no money, just something less than a hundred dollars. But I had something most people don't and that's faith in my ability to create something out of nothing. When you find yourself in a situation like this, you know you have to go through hell to get to heaven. Because most people lack faith in their own self, they are afraid of facing life's challenges so they result into blaming other people for their situations. Henry Ford said, Whether you think you can't or you think you can, you are right. If you believe in yourself, you'll be courageous. You won't be afraid of taking risks or going through tough times. Number 3. A man who has no imagination has no wings. Chief Kera said, Vision is the ability to see the invisible. If you can see the invisible, you can achieve the impossible. All the noise around you can lead you nowhere. To make the matter worse, all the facts too cannot help. Imagination is the wing of achievement. If you don't train your mind to see what others can't see, you won't be able to go in a different direction. And until you go into a different direction, you can't achieve a different result. Number 4. He who is not courageous enough to take risks will accomplish nothing in life. I know a lot of people who have some lovely dreams. In fact, some of those who are very close to me who shared their dreams with me several years ago are not closer to their dreams today than when they shared them last 10 years. The reason is because there's always some rough roads you have to go through to achieve any significant dream. I know, we all hate difficulty, we all love to be comfortable, we all love to be at peace. But to accomplish your dreams, you must sacrifice your peace and comfort. You must get off the road and dare your dreams. Sell your comfort, exchange peace for problems. Do the difficult things. Number 5. What you are thinking is what you are becoming. Donald Trump wrote, If you are going to be thinking, you may as well think big. We are all products of our thinking. People who think poverty ends in poverty. People who think scarcity end up with scarcity. People who think of possibility find ways to make things possible. If you want to change your life, change the way you think. Number 6. 
What keeps me going is goals. I learned how to set goals when I was a teenager and my first goal was to become the best student in my class. Because of this goal, I became a new person. I stopped watching movies or wasting time, not because I wanted to but because I had something that was pushing me. I never stopped setting yearly and frequent goals ever since then. Earl Nightingale said, People who set goals achieve more because they know where they are going. Goals give life direction. Goals keep you from wasting time. Goals make you to be disciplined. If you want to change your life, set frequent and inspiring goals. Number 7. I hated every minute of training. By said, don't quit. Suffer now and live the rest of your life as a champion. Over the last one and a half decades, I had gone through some self-imposed prisons and I can tell you that those are the best decisions of my life. The problem with most young people is they are not self-motivated. Most people won't decisively attempt tough things until the circumstances force them to do so. If you want to be successful in life, you must be willing to endure pains for a time without complaining or blaming anyone for your predicament. Number 8. To be a great champion, you must believe you are the best. If not, pretend you are. Cristiano Ronaldo was asked at a time when he won the best footballer of the year. You think you are the best? He answered, I have always thought I'm the best, even before now. Again, this is about believing in yourself. You hardly can go farther in life than your self-belief. If you think you're the best, you will work harder than everyone and you may eventually become the best. Number 9. Don't count the days. Make the days count. You don't have a life. You only have the time some hours every day, some minutes in each hour. If you waste time, you are wasting life. Don't count the days, make the days count. Number 10. Champions aren't made in gyms. Champions are made from something they have deep inside them. A desire, a dream, a vision. Napoleon Hill spent about 25 years to study the lives of the rich and successful people and then wrote a book about his findings called Think and Grow Rich. In this book, Hill analyzed that the number one thing everyone who becomes successful has is the burning desire. Your strong desire will make you restless. Your burning desire will lead you to a big dream your desire will lead you to actions. If you desire a thing enough, you will be restless until you get it. Have strong desire. Be restless. In summary, if you want to be rich and successful in life, have faith in your ability to achieve greatness. Take responsibility for your life and blame nobody for your situation. Use your imagination and dream big. Be courageous and take risk because if you keep your life, you lose it. Be optimistic and think positive thoughts because your thoughts become your life. Set inspiring goals so that you'll stay focused. Be willing to endure now because of tomorrow. Believe you are the best and you become the best. Don't count the days, make the days count. Have a strong desire to achieve greatness and go for it. You enjoyed this video, didn't you? We would like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we have picked for you to enjoy next. We love you.